What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. We are joined by the man that needs no introduction, Mr. Micah Morris. I, do you need an introduction? Yes, I do. This is Micah Morris. Because He's I'm, a, I'm not, I'm not that big of a deal. No, you're not really, but you know, I figured I'd give you the, the well, credit that you do know. I feel right. honored to be on your channel. I've never been on your channel before. You have actually been on my channel. You were my first ever video. That, that's right. Yeah, it was a front nine back It was a front nine back yeah. So this is the second so this time. Is, you were my first, this is my, my first video and you just completely forgot. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's all right. Good. I'm excited for the challenge today, then. Thank you. May the best yeah. man win. We got... That was weird. All right. We got 18 holes at Wellington National Golf Club. We're going to do match play today. Yeah, and another thing is, I've played this course, I'm not even kidding, probably like 30 times on my simulator. So, like, I've never played it in real life, and now I get to, like, play the course for the first time in real life ever. So, hopefully I can... Hopefully that translates to course knowledge that I need. First hole of the day, a little 350, par 4. Tight. It's a very tight golf course today, so whoever hits it best off the tee has a pretty good chance of taking it down. Two iron in the hand. Let's go. Nice one. Thank you. Right down the middle, but you Good ball, Peg. Perfect. That's what I do on the simulator. Is that what you do? Yeah. You play four iron off the tee? Yep. And All I, right. I make birdie every time. And we're off. Holy crap, Henry. It's good to be back, but it is, you know, there's an expression for how hot it is out here. It's hotter than two rabbits. It is really hot out. And with the GoPro being up, we have the window shield up. So like it's even, I know it's as hot as an oven in here. We're going to give you guys some good golf to watch today. And, thanks for having um, me on your channel. Dude, thanks for coming. Seriously, yeah. this is awesome. Uh, it's been a while since we played golf. We haven't played enough like golf together. I like know. even casual golf, like not, not like we just don't play enough together. I don't know why. Yeah. It's funny when the guy that benches four times as much as me uh, laughs about him hitting it further than me. It's almost like that should happen. <laughs> 117, slightly downwind. It's gonna be a full swing, 52. A little bit of a between clubs to start, kind of between a pitching wedge and a 52, but I'm gonna go with the stronger 52 here with the wind being a little down. Green light pin, right at it, let's go. All right, 112 and it's hot and Henry's flu, so I'm going more with like a 105 shot, it's a little 58 degree. And uh, hopefully it's just the right, just the right club for the right occasion. Whoa. Wow, that had some flu. A little shorty there, brother. That flew exactly 100 yards. It flew how, how far that pl club is supposed to go, but it just didn't play quite as, as long as I thought. All right, I uh, came up pretty short. That was very unfortunate, but I'm gonna do my best to chip this in. Yeah. All right, a little work left on that one. Henry's got, a, Henry's got an opening. We're playing match play today, so. Tig's got a little meat on the bone here. We left ourselves about 25 feet, which is honestly, a lot more than I thought. I don't know why I thought my ball was gonna come up short, but it went a little long. All right, let's give it a roll. Nice good putt, Henry. Thank you. A little Cadillac ball. What's that? A little Cadillac ball. A little Cadillac ball, yep. Pro V1, Titleist three. Great pot. Nice. nice par. Switch to the spider putter. Good it for has you. been absolutely amazing. I've never been a. I've well, never let me been get a, this. Let me get this for you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Never been a, a mallet guy, and one day, I saw how good Saya was putting, and I was like, you know what? I got to try it. Yeah, you're 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 never a mallet guy until you realize that you need a mallet, and then all of a sudden you're a mallet guy. Yeah. Lab is a great company, and they make a great putter. Yeah, shout out to Lab Golf. If you want to actually get a good putter, click the link in the description. All right, guys, a very interesting hole here. It's a 520 yard par five, but there's a creek that runs through the center of the fairway at about 270, and it's pretty tight beyond the creek. So we're gonna lay up short of it. I think Tag and I are both gonna do that. Boy, these birds are loud.
far. I mean, I mean, it's certainly not my best strike. I'm not proud of it, but it is in play. All right, little four iron here, trying to get something in the fairway. That's gonna be fine though. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be a layup. I mean, it was a layup regardless of a good one. Yeah, it was a layup. It was a layup regardless of a good one or a bad one. So that's not normal. Not recently. I I I disagree with that statement. So this mini driver you said has been like amazing for you, right? Driver oh, it's transformed my game. Uh, do you even have plans of hitting a normal driver today? Uh, not today, I won't be, no. Really? But I don't I don't feel like they're even, I don't know how many mini drivers would be on this course because it's, it's not that long. Yeah, from the tees we're playing, we're playing about 6,800 yards today. Um, yeah, you don't, I mean, for someone your distance, I mean, you played in the Creator Classic. I mean, that nine holes must have been 36, 3,700 yards and you didn't use a driver. Is not a single time. And it was, it was, there was some really long holes and I just, it, I just, there's no reason for me to hit driver when it's, there's a good chance it's going out of play yeah. right now. I'm definitely laying up. This is a, a pretty long hole. I got, it's like 310 yards or 275 yards to back that bunker. So I'm just hitting four iron right at that bunker and hopefully I get myself about a hundred yards in. Really bad strikes, <laughs> but I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have probably 140 yards into the green or so. All right, guys, we have a long way into this green. We didn't hit that two iron great off the tee. Only probably went about 210 yards. So we got four iron in hand. Just gonna put it up there. Hopefully get us in the center of the fairway and leave ourselves about about 130 in ideally. Nice. That was one of the better four irons I've hit in a long time. Fix your divots, people. I got 118 yards. I'm gonna play this like one, probably like 130, I think. It's pretty aggressive, but I wanna get something on the putting surface. Hundred nineteen yards into a slight wind. I got pitching wedge. It's just a smooth, flighted pitching wedge. Take through a dart, so we got to make something happen here. Oh, go, go! All right. Oh, that's terrible. That's a terrible swing. That's okay. That's just not a good play. I got sweat in my eye now, but we're having fun. Ended up a lot better here than I thought. Only have about 20, 22 feet. Significantly better than what I thought from back there. I thought I had about 40, honestly. But we'll take it. I like the way it looks. Should curl in there. Just like curl in there. tapping pars to start the first two holes. Can't be terribly mad about it, but Tig's got a putt here to win the hole from about 10 feet. I think it's breaking a little bit left, mainly because of the grain. So, I'm gonna kinda go right edge. Mm. I pushed that a little bit, though. Not bad. Yeah, you push that a touch, but honestly, your pushes with that putter do look a lot better. On to the third hole of the day. It's par three. We will see how long it's playing. 186 yards, par three, obviously. Seven iron in hand, left to right wind. Bunker in front, we want to be long of that. It's just a stock full swing seven iron. chunk the shot like that in a while. Okay, I'm gonna go more of a, I'm gonna go more of a stock seven iron here. I think that eight iron is a little egregious for me. And I'd probably not hit it quite as far as I would have 
would because I am not quite fully cooked yet. So I think just a smooth 7 iron here, it should be perfect. bunker shot decently long takes in there pretty close uh, gonna have to make a long one all right 36 feet to the pin here actually when you watch you're up here it's like wow that was actually a pretty high quality shot there's no room long and right here and you're dead so this has got to break a little left just based off of everything I'm seeing here. Alright, I'm dead. Alright, we got about 15 feet here straight up the hill. Going a little, little bit to the right in the beginning and a little bit left at the end. So, by my calculations, it should be pretty straight overall. here but I'm gonna go right edge. I'm gonna go right edge, grain's pulling it left. It should work out to be about a kill the center. pumping your brother. <laughs> this is my video. All right, take one up and you try to run me into the tree. Unfamiliar territory for you. You're up in this match. Um, I don't know how often you're up in matches in general. I don't plan on getting too far down, but uh, I do plan on winning. I I'm in a great position. Um, <laughs> I, I love where I'm at and it's a beautiful day. Take got the honors. Not going to take that away from him. What's your play here, Tig? Uh, I'm gonna try to go a low draw four iron, just kind of start it up the right side here and uh, get something in the fairway. That's hopefully that's my play. That will work. Oh, yeah, get in the fairway. All right. Oh, please get in the fairway. That that's was a beautiful guy. strike. That was the best strike I've had today. That was nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud. Like, you've come a long way since I first met you. I'm serious. <laughs> that means so much. Yeah. Come a long way. Like, you're one of my biggest inspirations of, like, you know, doing what I do. And, and I just want to be grateful for you, Tech. I actually really appreciate it. Even if you're not being serious. No, I'm being actually serious. No, I appreciate it. These strikes are unbelievable right now. See, this is where you need to shout out your Tacoma irons. Like yeah, no, shout out to Como. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter what brand I play at that point. Like, if you hit a shot like that, you can, be, you can have whatever clubs you want. It's not going to be a good shot. I got 165, a little downwind. I got 9 iron in hand. I just need a good strike. I need a solid strike right here. I'm starved for one. I'm going to go just, this, just a touch left of this pin. This pin's all the way on the right side of the green. Just a touch left. Get it on that upper sh upper tier. We're really just looking for a good strike here. Sounds like a good strike. All right. Where's that? that? Uh, it's right on right oh. next to the pen. How close? Uh, Charlie's saying about this close, so we'll take that. Nice shot, Henry. Thanks, Tig. Okay, one tw one thirty. I'm gonna play it just a little bit less than that. 130, I'm going to play just a little less than that, about 126, 125. So hopefully a, a nice 50 degree is exactly what I need here. Wow, that was so high. All right, that's going to be fine. Yeah, it's been high. Shock. 45 feet from 130 is despicable. I think it's breaking a little left again. Every putt I've had today is breaking left. 45 feet. I'm gonna probably play it about 45 feet. But the big thing just here is just good speed and just trust. Pick a line and trust it. Great. That was a horrible misread there. We have.
have a pretty straight putt up the hill here. Significantly further than we thought. Um, yeah, thought it was this. Certainly not that. About 15 feet. Just give it a good roll and hope it goes in. Oh gosh. I can't tell if I pulled that or. Brain's going that way a little yeah, bit. Is that good? Yeah. Tig gives me the eight inch putt. He's got about. It can't go, it can't go that. He's got about four feet here to tie the hole. Thanks. Wow. I love when those six footers go in the center. Ah, feels good. Good Thanks. par. With how I thought that Henry was going to win that hole because apparently, like, we thought he hit it close and then I got out of there with a tie. It feels really good. Yeah. Sometimes that happens when, uh, when you're 150 yards away from the green, the green's a little elevated, the ball looks like it's here and the hole's here. And then when you get up there, it just starts going like this. And then like this. And then like this. I picked a few. And then like that. All right. Tig's got honors. Lead us off, Tig. First time hitting the big sticks. Yeah. Fifth hole. I'm just trying to aim right up the middle here and just trust this little draw. Where's the wind at? Oh god. Yeah. I might need to hit another one. That's not real. Okay. Right. I mean, it'll be close. I think you got caught on top of that tree. I, I think you'll find it, but we'll, we'll see. No. All right. Here we go. Driver up the middle. It's extremely ugly, it's not good, but it's in play. Hope I can find that first one, but I'm gonna provisional. Um, see if I can get this one going a little bit. Trust the draw. Alright. Well, we saw that one down. I have a question for you. Alright. If you had two balls every shot and you were scrambling, do you think you could be middle of the pack on the PGA Tour? Two balls every single swing. Scramble. Middle of the pack as in like... Like, like you, 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 you are good enough to maintain your tour card for years. Two balls off every shot. If I could do scramble. that for years in a row? Maybe. Absolutely. If you could be on tour for like a few years, two balls every single swing, take yeah. the best one, you think you'd be on tour? Yeah. I, th I think you could too. I, I am, I am... That might be a crazy thing to say for some people, but I absolutely think that I would, could do that. Yeah, I mean, it is, it, it's, it's, it's a good question because like the big advantage, right? I mean, obviously you can correct a really bad swing immediately, mm -hmm. but more than that, you get two putts and you know yeah. the line on your second one. Exactly. So like, I, I don't blame you at all for saying yes to that. All right, my first one was out by about literally five feet. I, it doesn't seem like it should be off the golf course, but it was. First one's out. 116, I'm gonna play this about 123, 124. Get it close, make 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 bogey and see what Henry does. Oh. That's so short. Hey, that was such a crappy golf swing. Alright, this hole maybe it's just time to time to give it up. Alright guys, we got 133 yards here. Tig is short. He already went out of bounds on his drive, so. Anything on the green here, we're looking pretty good. So, just going for the center of the green here. 133 yards, we've got pitching wedge in hand. Wind should bring it back a little bit to the right. Just a stock pitching wedge swing. Oops, that, wow, that's low. Oh, it did? Oh, all right. Yeah, that thing came out pretty hot. On the green, about 20 feet, we'll take that. Okay. All right, I'm going to chip this in. If I chip this in, then I'm probably going to make him two putt it. If not, we're going to the next hole. Go! Oh, wow. That would have been rattling if you made that. I know. Match is all square onto the fifth hole, the second par five of the day. This is a good one. All right, match is all square. Really nice hole there by Henry. Just did what he needed to do after that kind of Picked up, pick up off the tee. That's um, alright. And the match is back to all square. We're all square. <laughs> We're all square. Fun little fact about this hole: uh, Charlie and I played it about a year ago, and we witnessed a double eagle. 
awesome. on this hole, Hopefully and it was a it was a dunk, double yeah. eagle. It was yeah. the, it was one of the it was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen on a golf course. Not necessarily counting on that. We're just going straight at that bunker, get the job done, get hit a good drive. Nice, Henry. Go. Oh, good shot. Kind of scary for a little bit? Just a little bit, yeah. Just a little scared. Um, the ball faded on me a little bit. I'm not used to that. Uh, but we're just surviving today and we're doing a good job at that. All right, any driver back in hand, just trying to get something to draw back toward that middle bunker. Um, I need to hit some in that middle, hey, right at that center bunker. Up. Did it stay up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it didn't. I don't think it rolled back too far. Oh, you might want to take those shoes off. It's up. Gosh. Listen, it's a good day to be a righty. Let's just put it that way. My, yeah. my gosh. It's just not quite there yet, but it's it's getting close. That was a really nice strike. I just didn't aim right. All right. We got 215 into a little bit of wind. I'm not even really looking at that pin. I'm going left of it. It's 200 to clear the bunker. A solid strike with this four iron is going to get us on the green. And that's the goal. So let's execute. Ah, a little short. Came up. Yeah, it was a good shot. It was hard to, what? Go bunky bunky? It's a bunky bunky. All right. I got a pretty decent lie in the heather here. The thing is, it's like the ball's way below my feet. The big thing is, is like, it, can I, is this gonna, how, how do you think this is gonna come out here? It's gonna come out low and right. Low and right. I think. Nice sturdy base. Hit a little tight, little tight cut spinner here, but this ground is really soft. I don't think I should do that. Low draw here. Just try to get something up there within like five feet. Turned out really nice here. Yep. Pretty good. Thanks. Released a little bit. It's got a nice putt for birdie. Got 60 degree in hand. Decently long bunker shot. These are not my specialty. I'm good with like quick short greenside bunker shots. This one's got about 25, 30 yards, so it's gonna require a perfect strike in order to get it close. No. Not my best. To be honest with you guys, I haven't been doing a ton of practicing. I'm like very much like most of my golfing comes on the course, so when I get a shot that requires, you know, I guess what you could say is a decent amount of skill. I do tend to uh, under deliver at times and that was kind of one of them, but I'm gonna stop talking down to myself. I'm a good golfer. If my calculations are correct, I think this is gonna go just a little bit to the left. So we're gonna play right edge. This is a good putt. Just that stayed out really there. Nice out there on whenever me. you said you were, that was breaking left, we all looked at each other and pointed that way. In life, you just misread things, and that was one of them. That was a great pot, and it's just a misread. Great pot. Thanks. Thank you. That feels good. Birdie from the swamp, man. How does that feel, Henry? It doesn't do anything for me. It feels great. It feels like a cold toilet seat, man. 184 yards. This is hole seven, right? Hole seven. Hole seven. I'm gonna play this about 200, which is a perfect six iron. I'm gonna try to go low draw, center of the green. Um, should work out pretty nice. You gotta really trust that number when it's into the wind like this. Your brain can get shaky and start to like do crazy things. So just a nice smooth swing here. A little quick draw from the hip there, get on. All right. 
pin eye. Yeah, I'll take anything on the green from 184. It's pin eye. I am also going with a six iron from 184. Go. Please go. Please go. Need to go. Go. Man, it just got, it was such a good strike. It just got absolutely you swallowed. Were, you were just not gonna chuck that at all. Paul. No, no, I mean, I, <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna give you that satisfaction because that would have been bad. You know who I really like? Who? Oh. Somebody that I've come to like a lot, Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Yeah, he's a he's a, he's kind of like a, a oh, country I've heard of that pop guy. artist, yeah, but yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's just a really good soul. He's unbelievably okay. popular. He's but a country singer. He's like a I've country heard of him. He's got a lot of tattoos. He's done a, yeah, he's done a lot of different things. But man, just a really good dude. Yeah, yeah. Man, that one came out of like the 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 far like back left part of your brain. Where the heck did that come from? Unfortunate that we ended up in the situation that we're in. That was one of my best shots of the day, and ended up short. Things happen though. This is golf, and. It, the game is basically designed for you to fail, so we're just taking the punches as they come. But we got a chip here, picking my spot. When chipping, you always pick a spot, let it release like a putt after that spot. And I got my spot. Got my spot. Go. That's a great shot. Thank you. Good putt. Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. I got a little read from Saya. So we'll see how good it is. It's just a little more. I kind of see this little dark spot out there. I'm gonna try to aim at. Stay on. Oh, that was a beautiful putt. Nice putt, Nick. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen that one. Onto the eighth hole. I am one down. We're playing some decent golf. It's steady. It's nothing special, certainly, but um, you, you're still watching, right? So did you grow up mostly listening to country music? Like, is that like your main genre? Um, you look like a country guy. Too. Yeah, I would say probably mostly country, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were out on the farm, chopping some wood. Oh man, I chopped so much wood back in my day. I mean, just an unbelievable amount of wood. I, I love chopping wood, actually. It's one really? of my favorite pastimes. No way. When I was in college, I used to chop wood for fun. Really? Yeah. Like just for firewood and Yeah, and, and it's just a great workout and it just makes you country strong. And you know there's an old saying, if you chop your own wood, it'll warm you twice. <laughs> All right, there's something deceptive about this hole. If you hit it into that tree, then it goes into the tree. That's what Henry just said. I, look, I was trying to understand. Be darned, that's good. I have three iron in hand. Certainly does not go as far as that guy's two iron. We're gonna give it our best shot. Very good. Thank you. You ever heard of John Henry? John? Yeah, John Henry. John Henry. Yeah, he was a steel driving man. No, that's a song. All right, 158 yards, dead downwind. We're going pitching wedge. I think this is a good number for a full pitching wedge. It is heavily downwind. So definitely have to account for that here. Gosh dang it, Henry. Go! Wow, it got there. I mean, it, it went a mile in the air. It was not hit well, but it went a mile in the air. If that was into the wind, I'm not kidding you, that was going 50 less yards than it did. 25. I'm gonna try to just hit a little full 50 degree. Should be really good. I can't stop thinking about John Henry. The steel driving man? Yeah. Wow, that came out gorgeous. Good shot, a little short. Thanks. I mean, that came out good though, now. I hit that. Really? So crispy. So what? Crispy. Yeah, good. Right? Yeah. You really get a bend. You know, it's so funny. Where were you? What were you there? I was 125. That is a bad gap for me. 125, really? even a little downwind. No, well, no, I was 137, but I have a 141 club and a 125 club. And so, I think downwind it probably played close to like 130. 
yeah. but it's still hard for me to get that club to fly 130 in the air because see look it's literally five yards short like yeah. five paces it's 25 feet short all right right next to a little highway here so sorry if the noise is a little off but we got a right to lefter about 40 feet just off the green we're gonna go with the texas wedge i'm a big fan of the texas wedge give too much of like a preview of that because when I have those little two footers I like to just just hurry up and get it over with rip it off like a band-aid on that like just a band-aid that's on like never mind 440 par 4 all right I'm gonna try to hit a little draw with my mini driver and just right over this right bunker that should be should be pretty good That's fine. Wow, that went past the left bunker. Yeah, it did. What do you think? <laughs> so that's what happens when you chop wood for a living. Nice, Henry. That's perfect. Nice. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. A little flat ball flight there. No spin. Love that. And we're off. Again, I'm one down through eight holes. This match is not over whatsoever. We have 136, slightly downwind, hit a great drive there. Still got outdriven by Tig's mini driver, but we don't have to talk about that. 136, we got a pitching wedge. Just a smooth swing, not a full one. Do have a little mud on the back of this ball. Hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. Dude, I mean, something is seriously wrong with me. I mean, do you want to take a look at my face right now? Like something is severely wrong with me right now with the chunks. Like, okay, this is a good number. I don't have to like, I don't have to like force it or anything. I don't have to try to hit it hard. This is just a, a really good number for me. So 125, I'm try to hit it 121. wet the bed there. Yeah. For those of the people at home that think like, we're, you know, YouTube golfers are so good, they gotta be on tour. You're witnessing why we're not right here. A lot of tour players in the screens too, they just don't see it because they don't show those shots on TV. Look at the statistics, folks. Pretty upset with that shot there. It's one thing to chunk it, and it's another thing to chunk it. And that was, uh, that was the, the chunk, so. Just gotta put it past me. We got a chip here, it's pretty straightforward. 52 degree in my hand, gonna land it just on the front of the green. It's gonna release, go a little bit to the left. Again, picking my spot. Ugh, okay. oh, caught a little hot. Came a little hot on me. 45 feet. <clears throat> Very average wedge shot, but I'm just gonna putt this, try to Put a nice roll on it. It's gonna break a little left again. I think every putt I've had today is broke left. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. If I make it, it's good, I promise. I respect it. All right, that's good, Micah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, I, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. Now, it's one of those, like, if I was up in the match, I probably would have just given it to you, but I didn't want to miss that putt and have that one given. I don't know, it's just something with my psyche. If I ended up missing that putt, it just would have been in my brain all day. If like, you know, what he would have made it, what he would not have. But since I made it, I'm happy tying that hole with pars. God, this course is freaking tight. Isn't it's it? Yeah. It's a good course, it's though. It's tied on the simulator, but it's even tighter in real life, I think. Well, the thing is, when you're playing simulator golf, 
you know, you don't really feel the effects of hitting it right. Yeah, you can't, even though it's tight, you don't, <laughs> you don't like visually see anything, so it's just like you're hitting shots. No, yeah, you don't, you don't feel. But I think that's where simulator golf is good for you because it teaches you to just hit shots instead of like trying to control outcomes. Right. Here we go. Hold 10, uh, one up, I'm gonna take two iron, just try to peel, peel a little draw up there, keep it low, keep it running, get some in the fairway. This is actually the tightest golf ball I think I've ever played in my life. It looks awesome. Deck. Great shot, dude. Run. Run like you stole something. That was weird. Run like you stole Don't steal time. things. <laughs> Which you should be good because you've been, you've, been playing, you've been playing that little chunk. It should be right in front of the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't think it's getting there if I do what I've been doing. You should try not teeing it up. I think that would help. Get oh, over get over. Oh, get left. Oh, it went through it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank it you. went through that little tiny gap right there. <sighs> That's insane. That's why you say your prayers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, we got 147 a little into the wind. I'm so between if I want to hit a nine or an eight. I'm gonna go with the smooth eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 47 into the wind. Choke up eight. Really just looking for good contact, honestly. Ah, sit. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna be the toughest chip in the world. Wasn't a great shot. Just between clubs, pulled it a touch. We'll be all right. I'm gonna play like a 130 shot. How's, how's that sound? Mm-hmm. Sound pretty good? Yep. Just trust it. Where'd you go now? Oh no. Got a little heavy? Yeah, just I have just had some numbers that I can't fully commit to. I should just hit a full 50, shouldn't I there, Johnny? Mm -hmm. 36 feet short here. Kind of just a lame second shot. It's breaking hard to the right, just swinging right. I feel like it's over this maybe? Mm, yep. That's good. I got a pretty good idea of what this shot's gonna do. Pretty good lie. I actually kind of like my chances of making this one. Well, it didn't take it left like I thought. Not a terrible shot, but we got work. Yeah, I gotta see that one, Henry. Don't blame you. Alright, it's left edge. Left edge. Decent pace, it's gonna go in. Man, get up and down. Thank you. Last two holes, henry has been grinding, but he's, he's yeah. Has, it's hard to beat a grinder, man. Tigs up. We are on the 11th hole of the day. It is a 430 par four, tight. Like, really tight. I think it's kind of into, but I'm gonna try to just start one up the right side and draw. I think it'll be perfect. Hopefully it kind of comes down on the middle bunker there. Yeah, good shot, Tig. Thanks. You're playing that draw nice, man. Thank you. Very nice, Henry. Thank you. Okay, you know Skip? Skip? Yeah. Yeah. Can you skip? Uh huh. Really? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know. Not a lot of people know how to skip. I know how to skip. All right, guys, we got 163 yards into a little bit of a breeze. But these Sunday Swagger shirts definitely hide my sweat because I'm sweating all over and you can't tell on my body, so that's great. Link in my bio for 15% off. I mean, I did kind of have to go a little left there because that tree was kind of being a little scary for me. But I did pull it off my line. I'm gonna have like a 60 foot putt, but good thing my lag putting's pretty solid. 153? See, this is such a, like, I can't get nine iron there, and if I hit nine iron, I'm, I'm gonna be 15 yards short. 
So it should be a perfect eight. Yeah. All I know is there's a big swell back there, so it looks like you want to get it to pin hot. Up. It's a great shot, dude. I need to make birdie. And they, they actually hold a lot of qualifiers here. Tell them about it, Henry. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, granted, we are playing uh, a combo of the black and blue tees here from 6,800 yards, and they'll play the qualifiers from like 7,100. But there's a lot of like US Open qualifiers. They do US Open qualifying, Florida Open qualifying, things like that here. This is a legit golf course. Leaving the pin in from about 50 feet here straight up the hill. I think when it gets up that hill, when it crests, it's gonna to wanna to fall a little bit to the right. It's all speed. Go. Go. Not bad. It's actually better than I thought. That's good. Appreciate that. To give me a little two and, two and a half footer. That's a friend. Uh, yeah, that is a friend. I played, uh, I played a match play match against Grant and he wouldn't give me a one footer straight up the hill. He must not really believe in your putting. He doesn't believe in a lot more than just my putting. All right, that's good. <laughs> it's more even. So what was it like being at East Lake for the Creator Cup? Like, was it like a well-run event? Like, what was no, it, it was like? unbelievable. The PGA Tour did such a good job, and they really did like they made us feel like tour players. Like they gave us access to the locker rooms where all the tour players were. Really? I like went and talked with Sahith. Like, is he not the incredible. nicest guy in the world? I think he's the best guy, the nicest guy on, on all of the PGA Tour. Dude, like so. he's such a nice guy. I would love to have Sahith like, Pagala on my channel. All right, par five, first one on the back nine, driver, mini driver in hand. I'm gonna try to hit a little draw that kind of goes right off the corner there. I think the wind is off the left here, so should be good. It's also into the wind, so it's very long today, but kind of right at the pin with a little draw, I think it's really good. Keep going. What? All right. It's a good shot. I mean, you might have a little tree trouble in your approach. But this one. Man, I hit that so perfectly. Right where I was in. Driver in hand. Lucky to get it within 10 yards of that. Nice, Henry. Wow, Dude, you got that. You got that thing a lot. I mean, that was a one-hander. I didn't hit that one good. Right down the middle. But it was down the middle. So good. <laughs> wow, I haven't done that in a while. A stripe drive where I one-handed it. Back off of that iguana in the fairway. Right? The end of the wind. Right, checking in on hole 12 here. Henry's it's a good got driver off the deck off number. The deck. I think this worst case is... scenario or green side. Insane. So, I love it. Swing with driver off the deck here. Maybe just a little cut into that pin. Anything on the green and I'll be very happy. Oh my goodness, Henry. That was beautiful. Holy crap. <laughs> That was sick. That was it's sick. Like 20, wasn't 20 it? feet for eagle. That was that was sick. That was unbelievable. I don't. Good shot. Yeah, I don't normally like. You know, I'm not one to just be like wow, but I kind of just wowed myself there. All right, Henry just hit an absolute dime up there. That was incredible. I'm gonna try to hit a big cut with the two iron. It's 230, but I'm gonna try to. It's probably gonna take 250 with this much with as much movement as I'm gonna have on this ball. So hopefully it cuts. Almost good. Dude. I think that's a little too much club for that. Like, sure. if you got a little more up in the air and a little more cut, it was gonna be perfect. Yeah. All right, I'm doing something that I like. It's kind of an uncomfortable shot for me, but I feel like I need to get a little better at him, so I'm trying it. Um, Henry's up there. He's got 20 feet for eagle, but I'm trying to make this. Um, so Phil says to, if you want to make him, you gotta chip him instead of putt him. Quite as much release, I landed it right where I wanted to. That was actually a really nice chip. Gotta pay this off. Right to left, down the hill. Go. 
go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mm. How does that not get there downhill? Nice, 30. freaking green. That's a bad par. Shoot. We ended up winning with that birdie. Feels good. Back to all square. Onto the 13th hole of the day. It feels like an oven out here right now, dude. All right. 205 downwind. Pin is on the left side of the green. I got six iron in hand. I think it's a perfect full six iron. We're gonna go a little right of this pin to avoid the left short side miss. Center of the green is what we're looking for. Solid swing. Right. Go. All right. That thing straightened out for you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen at home watching this video, that is why you aim for the center of the green. Because if I went at the pin there, I was missing left. So you got to play for the fat parts of the hole. All right. Six iron for me as well. Just going right at that big tree behind the, behind the pin. This should be pretty good. I think this will get me to pin high. All square tape. I know. Let's, Let's make something happen. That's a great shot. Thanks. It'll be closer than it feels from back here. I'm proud of you. You've become a great golfer since I met you. <laughs> All right, guys. We got a long one here, and it's going to play even longer that it's uphill. I'm going to play it pretty straight. I mean, if anything, I think it's going to want to just go a bit to the left. But, like, when you have these 40-footers, 40, 40 it's not really about the line as it is the pace. Here we go. Nine, 20, about 28 feet here for, for birdie. I would love to make this right now after missing that last one, but it's long. So just hit a good putt and see what happens. Stay up. Come on. What did I just say? Come on, Tim. Good putt. <laughs> wow. Great freaking birdie. Can't be mad at that. Lost to a birdie. He made a 25 footer. Good for him. Back to one down. Nice freaking putt. Thank you, I appreciate that. It feels good to make bombs. They're just low percentage putts, and when they go in, it's just like, wow, that just, it feels yeah. better than hitting a long drive. It feels better than anything. Yeah. Friends and family back home on the other side of the screen. We have made it to hole 14. It's uh, just under 400 yards. I got many drivers. 260 that bunker, but it's straight into the wind, so I'm gonna try to draw it off of that. Draw it off of that, and hopefully it, it works out nicely. just cooked. Kind of fell out of the sky, but there's a lot of wind up there. Oh my gosh, dude. It definitely is room. Yeah. We'll, uh, let's just run it, let's see. We have 118 yards, and you probably can't tell on camera, but there's a gap there. We're gonna try and hit it. it, it if I get through this gap and it hits that one little stake in the car path, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I mean, that would require, I mean, I have to be so precise here. This is crazy. Oh, I hit my line so good there. It just yeah. got in the grass too quick. Just getting like back in play there is huge. Like you could have just been safe and went over here, but that was that was awesome. All right, thank you. Got a chance of getting up and down. 115 yards, I'm gonna play at 120 and I'm gonna just make sure I swing very confidently here. Just play a stock of 50, I'm not playing at 50. I'm not trying to, no, just, one, just hit a stock 50. I just laid off of it. Why are you just full why am I why am I doing that? You've had a lot of good drives that your approaches have been 
My wedges are so average. At, like way less than average. Let's be real. Like I had the right number in my head and I just didn't play the right number in my physical. You're still 52 degree in hand again. I know like 99% of scratch golfers are better. I've probably taken 60 degree here, but um, it's a proud representative of that 1%, right? Not bad. I think I was given, if I was given the option to redo it, I don't think I would do it. 45 feet up the hill, into the grain most of the way, and then it goes down grain the last three or four feet. But I'm not concerned about that. I'm actually trying to hit this pretty straight. I think it kind of kicks it left, and then it'll go back right at the end because the grain. So I think it's pretty straight. to the nerves here we're going left edge there's just there's just absolutely no universe where this doesn't go a little bit to the right but thank you I'm playing this pretty much dead straight I mean, wow, wait, hold on. It just is what it is. We're playing, we're both playing the same golf course. It's just a miss. Okay. Yeah. If, if we No, I, I agree. YouTube is going to hate it. I agree. I agree. It is, it is a mess. That's true. All right. Got away with one there. I mean, all square. All right. The wind is picking up in a big way here. This is a new tee box here at Wellington National for the 15th holes. It's really cool. So different look than what I'm used to, even though I don't play here a ton. But we're just gonna aim at that right green side bunker and hopefully it goes there. Oh no. Did it get to that bunker? I think so. Oh, it might have it ski balled out. <laughs> ski ball? Yeah. Have you ever played ski ball? No. What? All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to go a little bit right of that and just hammer a nice little draw in there. That that last one, if you let it, that would rattle you, but I, th I don't think it rattled me. I really don't. I feel pretty calm, collected, and right where I need to be to win this match. Oh, it's gonna be in the same freaking spot. Yep, stay right, stay right. Yeah, it's in it. All right on that lip, too. It's on the lip? That's gonna be a struggle. We I've just see. got two of the worst breaks in all of golf. We can see from here that you're you're gonna you're gonna be down horrifically on this next shot. There's you know one what? thing about this game; it ain't fair. Yeah. It's Golf definitely not. It'll kick you down. It'll yeah. I mean, it's designed. There. It's designed for you to fail. It's actually hung up there by like Bermuda roots. It's kind of insane. I, I've never. I don't know. Like the pace it that had to come in. It had to be the perfect pace. It for that hit up here and then jump down. Oh, it came up here. But anyway, I'm gonna try to kind of lay this up. I just need to get it in the fairway. I just need to pop it up and hit it like 20 yards. That has to be two of the worst back-to-back -back breaks I've ever seen on a golf course. No kidding, Henry. Go. Okay, you going this way? Maybe. I don't know. On the, uh, on the bright side of uh, this hole, mine did ski ball out of the bunker and we are in front of it and we have a really good number and we have a really good lie. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes this game just spits you out and chews you and does all the bad things and then other times, like it's doing for me, I got blessed. So, just gotta roll with the punches. I've had a thousand bad breaks in my life like Tig just had. a little long. Kind of jumped on me there. Wow. 107, I'm going to try to play this just 105 and it should skip forward a little bit because it's in the rough. So, need to get it close. Henry hit a pretty good shot. Got to lock in and make par here. Go. Go. Big down forward. Jeez. Alright, 
33 feet. I think it's breaking a little bit left, actually. Yeah, might kind of straighten out. <laughs> Alright, pick it up, Henry. Pick it up? Yeah. Alright. Alright, Henry's back to one up, right? One up. Not back to, I haven't been one up all day. Oh, yeah. First lead of the day. First lead of the day, one up. Certainly do not whatsoever feel deserving of this one up lead. I feel like Tig is playing better golf than I am, but sometimes golf does not equate to the better golfer winning on certain days, so. All right, guys, we got the honors, 133 yards, slightly downwind. Pin is front-ish, front-middle-ish. I think it's just a smooth pitching wedge. Good shot. Thank you. <sighs> Happy with that swing. 50 degree here. Oh my gosh. I just I just hit four inches behind that ball. I I did that earlier today. You've done a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're in play though. <laughs> just barely covered the water here. Um, these last few holes have been very interesting. I need to get this up and down. Henry has a good like a really good look at there, but I just need to get this close and make par. Okay. Alright guys, I think I'm just barely outside TIG here. Left to right putt, slightly down the hill. <laughs> I see the line good here. I'm going to try and give this one a good run for Bird. Good putt. Thank you. Come on. Win that hole with the birdie. We are on to the 17th hole of the day. We are two up. Micah is dormy. He's got to win the next two to force playoffs. Got a par five here. I think it's to his advantage. Let's see what happens. Par five here. 530 yards, driver in hand. It's the home stretch, baby. Let's go. See it down? We're gonna see. Uh, I didn't see it down, but it's definitely okay. It could be in the trees, but. Oh man, come on. All right, mini driver, just kind of right up the gut here. Maybe draw it a little bit off of that bunker. Great ball. Get left. Yeah, that's great, Micah. I gotta win the next two holes. I gotta win. Game time. I gotta win. All right, guys. We hit a tree. I think um, kicked out to the right, but we got no chance of going for this green. We have yeah, we have 300 yards to the green. So I'm gonna take flies well, decent. I'm gonna take a seven iron. Just get it up there about 170 yards. Leave ourselves about a pitching wedge in. Another chunk. I mean, I, I am in dire need of going to the range. I, I need to stop. I need to stop trying to fix and figure things out on the golf course, and I just need to go to a range and just put headphones in, and literally not talk to a human being for like four hours. All right, 192 downwind. I think I can get a lot of club on this ball, so I think I can play it 185 probably. I hope this doesn't fly. I don't think it'll fly. I don't think it'll fly. So I'm gonna play like 184, which is kind of a stock seven iron, and I'm going right at it. I have to win this hole. Fly. Stay in the air. Oh. Felt really good in the air. Isn't that good? Dang. This is just stupid. 150 yards, nine iron in hand, slightly downwind. Match play situation. We just need to tie the hole to get out of here. Just want to hit the green. Solid contact anywhere on the green.
we're good. Oh, come on. Good shot. Come on. Let's go. All right, I got another situation here. Um, Henry hit it close, so it's got to go in. What a shot. That is a great shot. Dang, that's crazy. The last three holes was just absolutely insane. To win the match, I'm gonna play it like every other putt. Right edge. Brother, thank you so much. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, good you got some terrible breaks today, dude. Yeah. It's, it happens, cool. seriously. Like, I appreciate you a lot. Yeah. Hey, subscribe to Henry's channel if you haven't yet. Micah's, um, Micah's channel that. will be linked in the description. Guys, that was an awesome match. Seriously, you're one of my best friends. I'm proud to call you one. I know you had a terrible, like, horrible breaks today. Um, but sometimes that's just what happens and uh, I don't think that the better golfer necessarily won today, but That's just crazy. Whatever guys Thank you so much for tuning in Tig, Good job, You're the freaking man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you a lot. I, I foresee plenty of matches in me and Tig's future. So Subscribe like the video and we'll see you in the next one